Hello everyone, welcome to Paper Craft Mix. It's me, Brigitta, and today I have a video for BB Craft. First, I want to start by telling you this is my first video that will be only in English from now on. I told it in a previous videos over these last weeks that from uh, 2024 I will only do my craft mix videos in Dutch and in English and all the other videos will be only in English and today I start with it it's only 2023 but well uh, I have received beautiful dice and other goodies from BB Craft some time ago I did do an unboxing video and I already have a project video with a tutorial and I will link both of them in the description box below but what I also uh, received from them were two die sets that I uh, wanted to make manly cards with and I did all detach them from each other so this was the first set that I received that I really liked and well maybe it's hard to see on this backdrop but it's a die set in which uh, which with which you can make sweaters and suits etc so man's clothing i really liked it uh, i have to be honest um, it was a hard set to work with the end result is cute i think i really love it but it's uh, quite some fiddling to get it right everything fits moi Be, uh, for example, the sleeves. These are the short sleeves. You get both of them, so one side and the other. But look what I got from the long sleeve. Two of the same dies. So I had to fiddle with that to make that work. And yeah, I don't like the result as much as I did when you have the opposite dies for the sleeves. For the rest, this, you have to put it in here and close it. It, it fits, but yeah, you have to fiddle with it to get it right. So this was a little bit of a disappointing die set to use. But in the end, I did like the result. Um, the sweaters you can make with this, then you only need the sleeves and uh, the sweater part. That is very nice and very easy. That's no problem. But if you want to use it for the suit part, well, it uh, takes a little bit of fiddling. It will work in the end. But be, be prepared that it's not a die that you cut out and up really quickly to put it together. That is certainly not the case with this die set. The other die set is one with tools. And that's this one. I took it out of the packaging. So, of course, I will link both of the die sets in the description box as well. So that you can go directly to their website to the right die set. This die set I just loved working with. It is so cute. If you have men in your life, and I think almost everyone has that. A father, a brother, a son, a husband, just a friend. This is so cute to make manly cards with. You get all the tools. And what is so nice is it all has this. So the loop attached to it so you can hang it. You can use it like that, so you can uh, hang it on a rope for something or, or uh, something, but you can also use it without. On my projects, I used it without, but I did see cards made with these sets, and it was so cute. They strung some twine on the card and then hang all these on the line. It looked so cute, but I didn't use it like that. I did use it in a different way. And I will show that to you in a minute. But first we start with my projects with the sweater and the suit die set. So yeah, first I'm going to show you the sweater with the short sleeves. I didn't make a card out of it, but this is how it looks. I think it is so cute. A vest, a spencer. If you cut it out out of the same uh, pattern paper, you will see it in a minute. Then it's... Uh, yeah, like, uh, just like a sweater or a t-shirt. And here I cut it out as a vest. I really, really love it. You get the little details for the pockets, etc. So cute. You get extra dyes to put on the sleeves. So the sleeves are a little bit uh, with depth. Really, really like it. So this is when you make it as a vest. But you can also make it a suit. I'm going to show you it like this. Look. Here I made it as a suit. So cute with the, the color. You get uh, this, the color. You get two sizes of, um, yeah, how do you call 
that ties in English. I'm not sure. You also get a bow. So instead of the tie, you can give it a bow. And uh, here are the long sleeves. And if you look really close, you can see that, uh, yeah, that you get two of the same dies and not like this, the right and the left part of the arm. So you have to flip your paper to uh, glue that down. I did use a really light gray pen for the inside of the color and for the uh, here for these ones. It's really light. I don't know if you can see it, but in real life you can see it and it gives a little bit more depth uh, to your suit. Again, small little details. I love it. Cute pockets. And for the buttons, I did use my black Nouveau drops. When you cut it, you got little holes. I uh, wanted to put the Nouveau drops on. And yeah, I love this detail. So cute. Really love it. Um, yeah, I did make it as a card. I used an A6 die set from Caroline Design for it. And I had this paper in my stash. It's really old. I think eight, nine years old. Foiled cardstock. And I thought it matched really well uh, with, uh, yeah, with this theme. I tied it out a black um, flag, banner. And uh, put the suit on top. Really cute card. This is a Dutch saying from Caroline. It says that uh, you are doing a great job. So this can be given to someone with a new job, for example, or someone that got promoted, someone that's really working hard on their study. Uh, yeah, I really love it. And uh, yeah, it's hard to catch on camera. I did make a picture of it. I will put it on my Instagram. But again, with foiling, it's always hard to make a good card or a good uh, photo. But yeah, really cute set. And I was happy I purchased it, but it, it was a little bit of a fiddle. So I don't think I'm going to use it as a suit really often. What I am planning on using more is using it as a sweater. I love it as a sweater. It is so cute. You just get it out of the same paper. And yeah, that is just a, uh, a sweater. I really love it. I did add some details and I made it a winter, winter card. Uh, sweater weather is from... Um, is craft i believe uh, so not from uh, bb craft i use several dies from my stash and i love it as a winter birthday card happy sweater weather birthday to you beautiful cut out um, snowflake that was gifted to me uh, last year i did add some wood stars because i really love the wintry feel of it love this cardstock that i used as a base it's uh, pearlescent and not white it's a little bit champagne -y. And uh, it matched the papers really well that I used. It's a really old paper stack from a Dutch company that I uh, kept because I love this paper so much. So yeah, that were the three cards that I did, of the three projects I did with the set, with the vest, aka suit die. Then we are going to the, the tools, the tool die. First, I have some extras left that I cut out and didn't use. I am going to show them to you. Then you can see it a little bit from close up. So this is one. I did cut all the things in silver out of uh, silver uh, cardstock. It's a little bit of a matte silver. I love it for this. You also get an, uh, a die for the nail. Look how cute it is, so tiny. These are the brushes. I keep them and I'm going to... Use them on another project. It has beautiful details, as you can see. Really cute. This is the knife. And you don't get the layering pieces, so you have to layer yourself. So, for example, for this uh, red knife, I cut it out two times and just cut uh, the red part off and glued it on. Here I also kept the rings on. But on my projects, I did cut them off. And here are the other ones that come with the set. How cute and so versatile to use for a man or a boy's cards. And let's start with the first one that I did. It's a thank you card. We are going to start on our bathroom uh, next week. So uh, my brother-in-law will help us making a new bathroom in our house so i already made this as a thank you for him and yeah love this these are the tools as you can see cut them out layer them with red really really love it it's a simple card i like simple cards for men not too much fuss on it i did do some embossing as you can see in the background but i did do it partial so here i didn't do it i just did it here 
I think uh, it looks really nice. And yeah, with the square die from my stash and this Dutch saying, I uh, made this card. It says thank you, but then in Dutch. So, And I did want to make a matching envelope. So I had this one in my stash and I added the tools on top. And you could already see it on the inside. I glued some of the nails here on the inside as well. So that's the first card that I did with the tools. Then I also decorated a small gable box. This one I had in my stash. And I thought how cute would it look to add the tools on the side. And now it looks like a tool box. I did make, uh, yeah, I call it pockets. But I just uh, cut out squares with my... Um, with my cutting machine and I did emboss it with an embossing folder well it, it, it makes a pattern in the paper with an with a wood grain pattern really like it that saying or uh, the saying on top celebrate from my stash and I did tuck in but also glue it down all the tools how cute is this here is another one here as well and here I didn't put anything in anymore so yeah, I thought it was cute to give out some money or a gift card uh, to a man that likes its tools, his tools. So that's the second project that I did with the, the tool die set. And the last one is a mini slimline. It's really simple, but it is my favorite. Look how cute it is. I only used three of the tools on this card. I cut out a mini slimline with dies from my stash. And with a stencil from my stash, I did do some uh, square stenciling. I think it looks a little bit like an old uh, pegboard that are used in the sheds to hang your tools from. I did not cut off the, the eyes here, the eyes part, because I attached them with breads on the card through the holes. And, well, I still glued them down but I thought it came out so cute I used some of the bolts there and a Dutch saying that says uh, congratulations hot for it it is so yeah really small simple slimline card but this is my favorite from the three cards I did with the tool die set from BB craft I'm very curious what you think of these projects I uh, want Please tell me which project you like the most, which is your favorite die set. Go check out the other videos that I did with the beautiful products that I received from them. Uh, let me remind you that I have a coupon code uh, MIX10 for 10% uh, of your order at the website of BB Craft. And BB Craft sells so, so many beautiful, beautiful craft uh, products. Not only dies, but also stamps. Uh, for jewelry making, for wax sealing, uh, packaging, or for journaling, for scrapbooking. Yeah, anything you can think of, you can find it at BB Crafts. I hope you like my video. If you do, please give me a big thumbs up. I want, uh, if you want to subscribe to my channel, you can. It costs nothing. And if you push the bell here, you get an email each time I upload a video. I've seen that I gained uh, a few subscribers extra over the holiday, over the holidays. And I want to welcome you here. I hope you like my content. And if you have any questions, suggestions, etc., you can also uh, always write it here in the comment section or you can send me a private email or reach to me reach out to me on Instagram. My social media handles are in the description box as well. You can find me on Pinterest, Instagram, TikTok, and of course here on YouTube and on Facebook. So uh, yeah, that's uh, what I want to tell you. I'm uh, really happy you found my channel and I hope you get uh, inspiration from my projects. It will be cards, the 3D projects. I will do tutorials sometimes. I will show you the items that I receive and make uh, with my uh, Caroline design products. I am in the design team uh, of uh, them. And I also have some collaborations um, now and then with other stores. And yeah, today you were watching uh, the video of BB Craft. But within a few weeks, I will also have a new video with projects made with items I received from New Craft Day. So stay tuned for that. Go um, visit the website of BB Craft and don't forget about my code MIXTEM. Then I want to wish you... Uh, a really great rest of the day and I hope to see you back in my next video. Bye for now.